Hi, it's Thursday and it's live with Mimi and today we're coming from uh, Venice, Italy to show you how to make mango sorbet. No, we're not really in Venice. We're in my kitchen. I'd like to be in Venice. But anyway, we are going to make mango sorbet. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. Um, I made some up so it would be already frozen and then you can see that. But this is, I'm going to show you how to cut a mango. So this is the kind of mango I use. You want to take the the meaty part. You all know, I think, that there's this funny kind of pit in there. So you want to cut around the pit as close to possible and get as much off in one cut like this. Um, and then you're going to scrape out the meat from here. And you can do it with a melon ball, a um, melon baller like this. Look how nice that makes it for little desserts. Or you can, uh, you know, if you're doing a fruit salad or something, you can use a melon ball scooper. So you can do that to do the melon balls, or you can use a spoon if you want, and you're going to scrape out all of the flesh out of two mangoes, two mangoes. So you're going to do this on the other side, and then you're going to peel off the, you're going to take off the, anything that's left that you can get off, and then there's a little good special spot for the chef that's left on the pit. So I always eat that, just a little bit. All right, so you're going to put this mango into your blender. Vitamix is really good because you want to make this very smooth. And um, you're going to squeeze one lemon, Meyer's lemon, and then you're going to put some sweetener. So I'm talking about three ingredients. Two mangoes, juice from one lemon, and then you're going to use sweetener of choice. And you want to sweeten this to your choice also. Some people like this things a little sweeter and some not. But I use maybe two tablespoons and then after I blend it up really smooth, I taste it and I might add a dash more. So here's coconut aminos, coconut nectar. That's a different thing, coconut aminos. You want coconut nectar because that's the sweet stuff. You can use agave if you like agave, raw agave, and you can use stevia if you like stevia. It doesn't matter what you sweeten it with if it's, as long as it's not white sugar. Okay, so then after you do that, and, I, and there's two ways I squeeze the lemon out. I either squeeze it through a little tea strainer or some kind of strainer, or you can just cut it in half and squeeze it right over your palm of your hand and all the seeds stay in there. So that's the easy way to do it. But now that this is all finished, I actually want to plate this for you because... I want to make this very fast so you can see how it goes. So once you finish um, blending this up very smooth, you can put it in a mason jar or a closed container and you put it in your refrigerator and let it chill. And the stuff I had put in this um, ice cream maker has been chilled for four hours and while it was chilling, I went out and chilled and I got myself a massage. <laughs> that was really chilling. All right, so here it is. Um, this is a Krups maker, Cuisinart, any maker works fine. If you don't have an um, ice cream maker, put it in a, a Pyrex dish, put it in the freezer, and let it get a little soft, and keep scraping it. Keep it a nice texture. The one thing about an ice cream maker, which I think is a very good investment, because I make all kinds of ice cream. M many of them are in my, uh, my new Live Raw recipe book that's coming out in May, and this one is not, so that's why I wanted to show it to you. So anyway, well, this has been in here probably about 25 minutes. And um, one of the reasons for scraping out this little mango and saving the shell is that you can freeze the shell. This is a frozen shell. And you can fill the ice cream in there. And another thing I love doing, which is one of my favorites, you can scrape out um, oranges or when you juice them um, with your juicer, you can scrape it out and freeze these. So they make really nice containers for, um, for your ice cream. Let me find the scooper here and see what we have. So this has been about 25 minutes sitting in here, and it's nice and solid. It's creamy, but it's very firm. And um, Mike and I had this the other night. I've made this before, but I, it gets better all the time. I don't know what it is, but it's really fantastic. And I love it because it's so simple. And um, okay, so let me show you how pretty this looks. I'm going to take a nice scoop here, and I'm going to fill this orange like this. Is your mouth watering? Mine is. Guess what Mike and I are having for dessert tonight? Mango. This serves about four people, but I have to admit, Mike and I ate the whole thing ourselves. We had no adult supervision. So there you go. That's one dish. Serve it with a little spoon right here. Very beautiful. And then let me scoop up one more in the mango shell because that's all also very pretty. Either, either way, if your mango shell gets broken, don't worry. Actually, I'm almost using all this ice cream in here. I guess it depends on the size of your mangoes, how many people you can feed with it. But. And these ice cream makers are so good because you keep them in, uh, you keep this canister part in the freezer and, um, and then it's ready for use anytime you want to make ice cream. And I make chocolate and strawberry and almond and everything, but this sorbet is just natural and 
just beautiful. And if you don't use sweetener, don't worry about it. Don't put any in. Just if you don't like sweetener, don't do it. Mm. It is really delicious. Now that's a beautiful little dessert. Can you get a good shot of this, Mike? I know you want to eat this right now, don't you? There it is. Mango sorbet. Two mangoes, one Myers lemon. You can even put lime. You can even put a little zest in it. And then your sweetener. Voila, you have mango ice cream. So I will see you next Thursday. Um, be in good health. Chew your food. Tell everybody you love that you love them. And, um, and I love you.